Hello everybody, welcome to another butt face rival Pokemon Blue walkthrough. Hopefully in this episode we will be able to get our first Pokemon and go through the forest. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the rival battle, but we'll talk to these professors here. Is Poke Professor Oak is the authority on Pokemon? Many Pokemon trainers should hold him in high regard! Okay. We should. Even though he can't remember his own grandchild. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. Good for you. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. I know, that's what the other guy said. Alright, so. Um, now that we have our first Pokemon, we gotta go north. Through the forest area. Now that we have our first Pokemon, we have to go north through the forest area. Sorry for that update. And I like to battle every Pokemon I encounter. It's just something I like to do. Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Here's some meth. No, I'm just kidding. So I got a potion. Uh, yeah, I like to battle all of the, um, the Pokemon that I encounter. And I haven't encountered a single one. Isn't that interesting? Uh, if you didn't know, these ledges are pretty cool because you can jump the ledge. But you can't, you can't, like, go up the ledge. It's kind of weird. It's like a cliff. Alright, so, my first encounter, what will it be? It'll be a Rattata. And I like to fight all of them. Just so I can level up. Like, I don't like to grind, but I will, for the most part, battle every Pokemon I encounter. Just so, like, I don't have to level grind. And Rattata is just, like, a regular, normal Pokemon. And a Pidgey, a Pidgey is normal flying. And it is good against Bulbasaur, especially its flying attacks, which Gust is a flying attack. But you should be able to tackle it a few times, beat it. Alright, so level 7, pretty cool, pretty cool. And I learned Leech Seed. Leech Seed is a pretty cool attack because it allows you to, um... It allows you to sap the amount, the energy out of the other Pokemon. Trainer tips, the battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points, PPs. To replenish PP, uh, drink more water. Uh, rest your tired Pokemon at a Pokemon Center. Okay. Pokemon Center. This is a Pokemon Center that's like supposed to be Nurse Joy. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Okay, we'll need your Pokemon. I'll only do that speech once because I plan on going to the Pokemon Center a lot. So, um, let's talk to some of these guys. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They don't charge any money either. Okay, that's good. Pokemon Centers heal your tired, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. Okay. There's usually like a lot of people in these Pokemon centers that you can chat with. You can use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me. So kind. You can use you can use the PC to get Pokemon or or deposit or withdraw Pokemon. Let's see what this guy says. Those Pokeballs at your waist, you have Pokemon! It's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Yep, it's great. So what you have to do is first you have to go to the Mart. Let's talk to this guy. See if he has any tips for us. You want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? Yeah, Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch out for its poison sting. Okay. 
So you can go into this Pokemart? Hey, you came from Pallet Town! You know Professor Oak, right? This order came in. Will you take it to him? I just got Oak's parcel. I didn't know what parcel meant. Like, it's really weird that this game taught me how to read. I didn't know what a parcel meant until I played this game. I didn't know that it meant, like, a package or something like that. Which I don't know why they didn't call it a package in this game. So you have to go down. And I'll do it. I'll do a few, uh, hopefully a few encounters here. It is level grinding, I know, but it's whatever. I want to get experience. So I'm just going to keep using Gus. And luckily I have that potion, so I shouldn't be getting to that low of a hit point range. Another Pidgey. This one's level four. Um, and no, at this point you can't catch Pokemon. It's not, it's not, um, you're unable to do it. All right, so I'm at 10 hit points. And then I'll go down here. And then you can heal your Pokemon with your mom. Your mo that's all your mom does. She'll allow you to rest. Take care now! It's like, thank you, come again. Um, I'll go up there later. Uh, and then you go into here. Nintendo! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems like you two. Well, I don't know what that said. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Deliver Oak's parcel. Ah, that's the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you! Gramps! <laughs> what did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention. Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Nintendo and asshole, take these with you. So I got a Pokedex from Oak. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That is my dream! Oh, that was my dream! But I'm too old! I can't do it! <laughs> okay. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two! This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me! Nintendo, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Nintendo. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Weevil from um, the Yu-Gi-Oh series. <laughs> uh, he sounds like he's got like some kind of twitch. So I will get a town map from his sister. Hey, baby. Grandpa asked you to run an errand here. This will help you. So I got the town map. And the town map really just shows you everything in the universe, or in the, in the, um, in the region. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I, did I get Pokeballs, or do I have to buy Pokeballs? I'm not sure which one. But either way, I will do that. Go Yoshi. Go Yoshi. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Uh, so Yoshi against Rattata. The only two Pokemon that you can catch on that on Route One, that Route One, are uh, Rattatas or um, Rattatas or Pidgeys. So now I'm at level eight. 
I don't think I need that much more level grinding. Because Bulbasaur is good against all of the, or the first two gym leaders. And I'll, I'll heal again. Why not? Alright. Going up. And I'll, I'll visit these houses on the next episode, just because... So going up. Oh, did I? Oh, actually no. But did I? Did I get Pokeballs? No, I didn't. All right, let me get Pokeballs and then let me catch my first Pokemon, and then I'll go up there and do that whole area. Get her done. Um, marked. Buy Pokeballs. I'll buy. 11 and then the rest I'll buy antidote I don't think you can get a potion in this in this Pokemon mark so go this way if you couldn't tell already um, I'm gonna be catching one of these Pokemon so I'm not gonna go up there because that's where the rival battle is and I don't necessarily want to fight against the rival yet. And I'm not going to get a Nidoran female. There, there's a difference between the Nidorans. One's a female and one's male. Um, the, the male one eventually evolves into Nido King. And the female one eventually evolves into Nido Queen. So I want to get the male one. Not to seem sexist, but I just, I just like the male one a lot better. Um, I think it has better better attacks. Not necessarily sure about that. Don't quote me on that, but that's just what I've heard. So we're going to fight against this Rattata. Rattata. Hopefully it appears. If it doesn't appear, I'll just add it to it. Luckily, I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, because that would get hella tedious. <laughs> But I mean, I can do a little bit of level grinding. It's okay. I mean, I'm just doing it to catch, to get, to encounter the Pokemon. Now I'm level nine. Gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. Sorry about that airplane. I live like right next to an airport. Another female Nidoran. I seem like a real sexist right now, but I, I just I just plan on getting a male one. 
Not to like be a douche. A douche? I might be like level 12 by the time I encounter a male Nidoran. They do appear in this game. I'm like sure of it. Or I'm not even gonna mess with this Spiro. I'm just gonna start running. It's taking too long. It's really funny, it's like the Pokemon that you want is not the Pokemon that keeps showing up. It's kinda killing my buzz. Maybe in this game it's just really rare. Two hours later. I mean, it's a consolation prize. Captured! Yeah! <laughs> um... I'll name her Sonic Female. Because she's kind of like a poisonous kind of Pokemon. Sonic's sister. <laughs> mm! Alright, I'm catching it. Don't care. Do not care! Uh, yeah. Pokeball. <laughs> I'm about to be really sexist right now. <laughs> this does not want to be caught. I'm just afraid if I keep hitting it, it'll it'll get knocked out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the B trick. I don't think I have enough Pokeballs. There you go. <laughs> Stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger the horns there are, the more powerful its venom is. Yes! Sonic! So sorry, female Sonic, but you will be relegated to the PC. Dang. Alright. So I'm gonna like edit a lot of those parts out. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Nidoran female into someone's PC. No offense. But... That was a huge waste of time. And this is where I'll leave the episode. I'm sorry if it was extremely long and tedious. I wanted to get up to do the, the Viridian Forest part. But I guess I'll do the Viridian Forest part in the next episode. Um, sorry if it was like edited down a little bit just to make it look like there was less going on. But that took about 15 minutes to get that Nidoran. So anyway, I hope everyone has a very nice day. Peace. I'm out. See ya.